chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again a straight line parallel to the base bc of the triangle abc intersects ab and ac at the points d and e respectively and if the area of the triangle abe is 36 then the area of the triangle acd is what we will have to draw a schematic for this first let us suppose the triangle is a b c and a straight line parallel to the base bc of the triangle abc intersects ab and ac at d and e respectively this point is the point d and this is the point e the de is the line parallel to the base bc he says if the area of triangle abe that is start from here a b e this triangle the area for this triangle is 36 we have to find out the area for the triangle acd this is a come to c and come to d so this chunk this one we have to find out the acd area so we can write area acd is equal to acd is equal to you can view this area as a area of two parts this is small triangle we can write is equal to area ade plus this dec and this triangle so we'll write it as plus area dec we agree to this one we can split the required triangle into two parts upper ade and this yellow triangle dec we have been given that de is parallel to bc so if i draw a perpendicular like this you can immediately observe that the height of dec triangle is equal to this perpendicular the area will be half of de into this perpendicular so we can write which is equal to get this as such area ade plus half of de multiplied by this height h this is the formula for the area of triangle dec now if you observe this figure carefully what is the area of dbe it is also the same because the base de and the height h is the same for the triangle dbe also the same formula base de and height h just look at this triangle so we can write it equal to 
area a d e plus this this product now becomes the area d b e d b e so we agree to this which is equal to now what is area a d e this one when you add this area this area to the upper area what do we get we get the area a b e so we can write it is equal to area a b e this smaller part plus the other part gives me the complete triangle a b e and which is equal to what is area a b e this has been given as 36 so we can write which is equal to 36 square centimeter which is the answer let us move to our next question now the radius of the in circle of a triangle is 2 cm this is a question of in circle if the area of the triangle is 6 then its perimeter is what the this is the simpler question the relation between the area of a triangle its semi perimeter and the radius of the in circle which we have already discussed in our video on the concepts let us draw a schematic so if so what we have to do is if this is the in circle then this is the in radius we have to simply write the mathematical relation between the area of the triangle r and the semi perimeter refer to the video on concepts so we see we can write we know we know that area is equal to in radius multiplied by semi peri meter which implies put a equal to 6 area of the triangle is 6 so we will write 6 is equal to the radius r is given as 2 multiplied by the semi perimeter which implies that the semi perimeter is equal to 6 by 2 3 cm but we have to find out the full perimeter not the semi perimeter therefore perimeter p is equal to 2 times the semi perimeter which is equal to 2 into 3 which is equal to 6 cm which is the answer to this question let us move to our next question now the sides of a triangle are in the ratio 1 is to 3 1 is to 4 1 is to 5 and its perimeter is 94 the length of the smallest side of the triangle is what let us draw a schematic first let us suppose this is any triangle and let the sides be they are in the ratio 1 by 3 so one of the sides can be taken as k by 3 the other side can be taken as k by 4 and the third side will be k by 5 the sides are in the ratio 1 is to 3 1 is to 4 and 1 is to 5 the perimeter is given as 94 so we can simply write that k by 3 plus k by 4 plus k by 5 is equal to 
94 which implies that k into now this is what it is going to be take 60 as the lcm this will be 20 plus 15 plus 12 equal to 94 3 20 60 4 15 60 5 12 60 we can write which implies k into this sum will be 35 and 47 by 60 is equal to 94 and we can cancel these on the table of 2 which implies k is equal to 2 this 60 goes to the other side 2 into 60 which implies k is equal to 120 and smallest side is equal to which of these is smallest most of you would say k by 3 because 3 is the smallest but it is in the reciprocal so this is the longest side and k by 5 is the shortest so we would say the smallest side is 120 by 5 which is equal to 24 centimeter through each vertex of a triangle a line parallel to the opposite side is drawn the ratio of the perimeter of the new triangle thus formed to that of the original triangle is what let us draw a schematic for this first let the original triangle be this one A, this is B and this is C. Let the length of this side be small a, the length of this side be small b and the length of this side be small c. We have to find out the ratio of the perimeter of this dotted triangle to that of the triangle A, B and C. The dotted triangle has been obtained by drawing a line for example at the vertex A parallel to BC. So this line is parallel to BC and this line is similarly parallel to AB and likewise this line is parallel to the line AC. Let us mark these as D, E and F. Let us have a closer look at the figure A, B, C, D. In this figure AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to BC. It is given these lines are mutually parallel. So both the pairs of opposite sides of A, B, C and D are parallel. So A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Therefore if this side is AB then this side will be also C. And likewise if this is A this portion will be A. And on the same pattern if you see this figure E, B, C, A it is also a parallelogram. So if this side is A then coming to this side this will also be A. 
and if this is B, this is also B and likewise this will be B and this will be C. So we can write perimeter perimeter of new triangle is equal to this entire side is 2a plus this entire side is 2b and likewise 2c which we can write equal to 2 into a plus b plus c which is equal to 2 times now what is a plus b plus c it is the perimeter of abc so we can write is equal to 2 into perimeter of original triangle therefore the ratio of perimeter of new to original new to original required ratio is equal to 2 is to 1 which is the answer nobody can solve this question without a genuine understanding of geometry for that go through the proofs that i have given don't ignore them they will develop your understanding of geometry as far as the length of this answer is concerned it is only a single step answer most of the work can be done on the diagram with the help of the principles of geometry let us move to our next question now the ratio of the bases of two triangles is x is to y and that of their areas is a is to b the ratio of their corresponding altitudes is what so basically we need the area formula let us write it so area of the first triangle can be written as a1 equal to half of base of that triangle b1 into height of that triangle h1 this is the formula two triangles are involved so i have written a1 b1 h1 and similarly we can write a2 is equal to half into the base of the second triangle into the height of the second triangle so we can divide divide what do you get a1 by a2 is equal to this half will go away b1 by b2 multiplied by h1 to h2 now the ratio of the bases is given as x is to y and areas is a is to b so which implies a is to b a by b is equal to the bases are in the ratio x is to y so x is to y multiplied by the ratio of the corresponding altitudes will mark it as r where r is the required ratio i will mark it also the required ratio because h1 is to h2 is the ratio of the altitudes 
Now it is just a simple matter which implies the required ratio R is equal to take Y to that side X down it will be AY by BX that is AY is to BX is the answer. D and E are the midpoints of the sides AB and AC respectively of the triangle ABC. In the figure given below, so I will show the figure also first. I will mark the points A, B, C. D and E are the midpoints of AB, so this is D and this is E. Of the triangle ABC in the figure given below, these are the midpoints, so we can mark that this is equal to this and this is equal to this. The shaded region of the triangle is what percent of the whole triangular region. Now we know from the concepts of the similarity of triangles that this angle is common to A, D, E also and to A, B and C outer triangle also. So we can write that triangle A, D, E is similar to the triangle A, B, C. This fact is known to us from the concepts of similarity of the triangles. I will not repeat it here. A, D, E, this upper triangle is similar to the entire triangle. Therefore, therefore, area A, D, E by the area A, B, C, the ratios of the areas of similar triangles are equal to the square of the ratios of the corresponding sides. So this will be equal to the square of the ratio of AD to AB. We have been given D is the midpoint of the side AB. So AD is half of the complete side AB. We can therefore write this ratio is equal to half and its square will be 1 by 4. So what do we conclude? Therefore, area ADE is 1 fourth of ABC. This upper is one fourth of the entire, so the lower, so area DBCE will be equal to how much? Upper is one fourth, so lower will be three fourth of the three fourth of area a b c so the shaded portion is three fourth of the complete area the shaded region is what percent is required but we have found out that it is what fraction so required percent 
required percentage is equal to 3 by 4 multiplied by 100 which is equal to 75 percent answer. Let us move to our next question now. The base of the triangle is 15 and height is 12. The height of another triangle of double the area with the base 20 is what? Straightforward question. The base of one triangle is 15 and height is 12. So we can write area of given triangle is equal to half of 12 into 15 which can be orally seen 2, 6, 12 and 15, 6 90 square centimeter and what about the second triangle for second triangle we should have half of the height into the base 20 the base of the second is 20 this should be equal to double the area double of 90 2 multiplied by 90 which implies h should be equal to 2 into 90 by 20 goes down this 2 goes as product so which is equal to this goes by 10 this 10 cancels this 0 and we are left with 2 into 9 is equal to 18 centi meters let us move to our next question now abc is a triangle with base ab base is ab d is a point on ab such that ab is 5 and db is 3 what is the ratio of the area adc to abc we need to draw a schematic first the base is ab so mark it a mark it b mark it c abc is a triangle with base ab d is a point on ab this is the point d such that ab is 5 and db is 3 this db is given to us as 3 and therefore since entire is 5 this portion will be 2 we have to find out the ratio of this adc this shaded portion to the area of the complete triangle abc let us first of all drop a perpendicular from c to the base AB and label it as H and we can write area ADC is equal to half of AD the base is 2 and the height is H this is one thing and we can also write area of ABC is equal to half of the base AB is 2 plus 3 5 into 
the height is h this way. Take the ratio. Take the ratio ADC to ABC. So we'll write area ADC to the area ABC would be equal to when you take the ratio this half cancels this H cancels we'll be left with 2 by 5 which implies answer is 2 is 2 5.